After a day like this, we're all tonguing for a feed. We're here at the Durack River after a hard day of cutting in. I'd have to say the toughest 30 k's I've ever done. So I've got to feed all these hungry animals. So what I'm going to do is the quickest and easiest roast so that I can go and sit down while the thing cooks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do veggies, the roast and the gravy all in one. So let's give it a whirl. So I've got a nice piece of meat here. I'm going to make incisions in the meat to get the flavour into it, like that. So firstly, I'll start with some garlic. All right, so that's the garlic. Now, I think this is a piece of lamb. I don't know. I just grabbed the thing that looks like that in the supermarket. So basil and rosemary usually goes good with lamb. Massage the herbs in. But what you do is you put the roast in first, hour, 45 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, then we put the veggies in. Otherwise, you put everything in at once, it's just going to cook too quick. The veggies will be all soggy. So, roast in. We're going to drizzle that with a little bit of oil. Now, that goes in the fire. Lid on. Let's get the meat in the fire, ready to go. 45 minutes, and we're ready for veggies. Now, I'll just show you what I'll do with the veggies so I can just tip them into the camp oven in about 45 minutes. Now, remember I told you? I was going to do it all at once. So that means the gravy as well. So I'll get a tin of coconut milk, slap that in, like that. Get some gravy powder, sprinkle that on top. Then I just pour this mixture in and that'll create my gravy for my meat and veggies. She's ready. Let's have a look. Oh, that smells good. All right, let's serve it up and see how it goes. There's our juice. Well, gravy come juice. There you have it. Coconut gravy, bit of roast. That'll keep the boys happy. Grubs up, boys.